Here we are at Galaxy in Mole, Belgium, one of our favorite studios in the world, and a wonderful place for ambience, for a richly detailed, balanced ambience. It's a beautiful recording room and quiet. And we're working on the new Superior Drummer 3 core library. Uh, we're doing it in a technology that's never been uh, used for sampling before. We think this is uh, revolutionary. We're recording in not only surround, but uh, height. So it's immersive, the new generation of immersive performance playback of uh, high resolution audio playback. We're working at 192 kilohertz, 32 bit for the geeks out there. And uh, this is also uh, very advanced for sampling. And when I say surround, uh, we have our traditional, what's come to be known as a traditional 5.0 surround, five mics, but we're adding uh, height channels, we're adding front height channels, and we're adding four channels of rear height. This uh, can be played back in systems from stereo systems to 5.0 systems to 7.0 systems to 9 and 11 channel systems. And the, uh, between that and the tight mics on the drums, it's an incredible experience. So a completely immersive presentation. And the other thing I mentioned was this very high sample rate, di digital sample rate of 192 kilohertz. And it wouldn't be as effective if we didn't have microphones that were very wide range. So we're using Sankin CO100Ks as our main 5.0. This is a microphone that goes out to 90 kilohertz, and it's flat through 30, 40, 50 kilohertz. Uh, this, is, this is an awesome microphone. And what it gives you, among other things, at this high sample rate, is a tremendously detailed uh, image of the room, a sense of the room, um, and localization. Um, when we hear uh, our drums in context of the room, we can pick out where every drum comes from. And this is a, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not a feature, you know, in, in music and the playback of, of, of samples. What we want to do is integrate this with the music as if it's real, because it is real. We're making it real. The CO100Ks are omnidirectional. Uh, we want maximum amount of ambience in the room. But for height, we're using uh, directional mics, uh, cardioid, specifically uh, Shep's CMC6s with uh, MK4 capsules. And uh, that's our height channel. For the height, we need to reach a little bit above what we can get with the Omnis. For the very wide room, we're using shotguns. So the uh, Sankin CS1Es uh, are shots and they're reaching into the back of the room to give us a little bit bigger expanse in the back. It's huge. As we move closer to the drums, you'll see layers of technology that uh, we can deploy uh, by choice and playback. And um, the, the whole idea is giving us a choice of uh, a big room, or even we could take out the ambience that we have a smaller room as we get close to the drums, we can change, we can uh, use these different technologies to get different timbres on the instruments. So we start off tight on the drums, and we start off with the overheads. We have two technologies on the overheads. We have an extremely linear cardioid, uh, which is a Sankin uh, CU44X. It's a uh, uh, a cardioid with two capsules, and it maintains a very even off-axis response at all frequencies. We're also using the Bayer M201, which is a dynamic. I, I don't understand how it's so good, but it's just amazing as a drum overhead, and that gives you a punchier sound. The, the uh, Sankins would be a more, um, a more formal uh, picture of the overheads. The 201s would be a little bit more rock and roll. Uh, we have two technologies moving back. We have AEA ribbons. These are R84s. They're bidirectional. They're set at XY. 
we've gone to great lengths to find a proper position where the image from the snare and the kick are centered. Same thing moving back, looking at the Erland. These are uh, EHR T's. They're microphones that are adjustable. Uh, they have a separate rear and front output, and they're kind of set to loose cardioid. And they, these mics pick up a little bit of ambience and a good centered, an integrated centered picture of the drums. And we went to great lengths to, to center each drum so that it uh, uh, plays back as a, as a linear presentation, if you will, a balanced presentation. The kick mic uh, is a Sennheiser uh, E902, 902E, uh, very punchy and right up against the front head. Also using uh, our favorite kick mic uh, as a mic outside the drum, a U47 FET and a Yamaha sub bass. Each gives you a slightly different impression of a kick. Uh, uh, fills, each fills in another's uh, I don't want to say failings, but uh, the gap in the other microphones. These are, this is a balanced presentation of a kick and the effect is, is to make it bigger. The snare drum, we're doing something new. We have a traditional dynamic on the top, which is an old, old Sennheiser MD431. I've used this for 30 years, 40 years. But underneath the snare drum, which is something a little different, we have a stereo pickup. These are two modified KM84s. They're modified for very low gain uh, because it's very loud under there. And it's also a modification that extends the frequency response. The effect of this is to have a snare that uh, you can get very tight into, uh, uh, maybe without any ambience, and have something with great uh, uh, width and saturation. The, the, the snares are even more dense for having two pickups. We add to that a, another KM84 hi-hat mic, uh, and Norman has been so kind as to really center his playing so we can get it exactly where we want for a, a cool hi-hat sound. And we're adding Erland tom-tom uh, -tom mics uh, on the top toms. Uh, these guys have uh, uh, perfect sensitivity and balance. Uh, they can uh, accept extremely high levels and they're very linear in the low end. But adding that and the overheads and the ambience gives you a tom from God. I mean, it's huge with protein and everything. And the effect is um, that you can fit in exactly what you need in your picture of a mix. It can be as punchy or as uh, fat, and in each sense can be can have all these different timbres, from warm to very crisp and bright. This has been uh, a dream of mine uh, because I've, I've used uh, Superior Drummer for years and years and years. It's my go-to sample library, and uh, I've dreamed of having this very drum set with this kind of quality and, and resolution for years and years and years. So I, I, I feel like I've died and gone to heaven. But this is, this is, uh, this is the future.